Tonight, investigators are trying to learn why a driver slammed into the back of another car, causing it to erupt into flames. The results, an explosion and a driver, a Port Arthur man dead in that burning car. KFDM's Tom Wright is live from the intersection of Memorial and 39th with more. Tom? Yeah, people are traveling through this intersection this evening, going on about their business, but about 12, 15 this afternoon, it was a very different scene. An explosion. And then this. It blew up. The car, the cars just ignited and it just, and the whole road just seemed like it was on fire. And I just Angela Anderson was following her sister on Memorial Drive when a black pickup truck caught her attention. He, I saw him, he, I saw him trying to get over, but it was just too, I guess he was just not fast enough because he hit that car and on impact. He hit it from behind? He hit it from behind. But what happened next? No one could have imagined. When the truck hit the car, it seemed like the whole park, I mean, the whole line was on fire. It was just that big. And I just pulled over and I jumped out screaming for my sister. Angela's sister was shaken, but okay. Spectators gathered, attracted by the explosion and the smoke, are stuck in traffic. It uh, looked like it was vehicle was hit from behind and it uh, looks like maybe the, uh, the gasoline tank uh, were caught fire. Yeah, and that's that's pretty rare. And soon the realization the driver of this car did not escape. And that car nobody could nobody out that come out of this car. Some did the only thing they could. They prayed. They make you realize a lot of things, you know. The first thing that I think it was about my family. It could have been my wife. It could have been somebody that I know, you know. Investigators say that the driver of the pickup that ran into the car that engulfed in flames was up and walking around after the accident. Two people were transported to the hospital. We do know that the man who died in the fire was from Port Arthur, but he has yet to be identified. Reporting live in Port Arthur, Tom Wright, 6 News.